Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Okay, so now it's time to talk about XSplit. This will help you not only record your games but stream them as well. Now, right off the bat, you can see that I have to log in to XSplit. XSplit's pricing structure works differently than all of the programs we've covered so far. This is program as a service, so you actually have to spend a monthly fee every single month to get the service of XSplit. So now that that's out of the way, let's actually show off what the program can do. So right off the bat, you can see that we have a few different sort of windows on this main window. We have what will be our preview of what we are recording. You have a scene structure over here on the side, and then you have your multiple scenes. So to add something to the scene, I'll just click the Add button. Let me go ahead and add Minecraft, and so it adds it there. Now, of course, that's not the correct size, so let me just click and drag the corner, which makes it much larger. And then I can switch to another scene. So let's say I want Minecraft again. Let's go ahead and grab it. But this time, you know, I really want to do what I see in YouTube videos all the time, and I want to put my camera in on this. So I can go ahead and grab the webcam. Hello, you.、Um, that's on this computer, and let's shrink this down into the corner. Looks good. Let me just adjust my camera there. And then, you know what? Let's go crazy. Let's go ahead and add a title, so I can add some、uh, text. And this is OMG Chad's stream. And this even has some functions where you can start and end a tag if you want to pull from、uh, some sort of XML. And now that I have this, I can move it around. I can decide that it needs to be big or small. And this is sort of the、uh, structure that you build scenes within XSplit, and you can pull that down. Now, one、uh, thing that it doesn't have is you can't create a scene、uh, when you're not actually live in the scene. So if you were broadcasting live. Um, you'd have to switch to a, a scene. Everyone would see that you switched to the scene, and then you could start editing. There's no way to preview before you actually cut live. XSplit has a ton of options. You can see that I already have these options pre-populated because I logged in. It's sort of a cloud service that it remembers all of these options. If I would like to edit any of these, I can click the gear, and I will be able to edit any of these places that it is recording to. And、uh, if I wanted to add one, I could add a place that it goes to. It has some announcing functionality, but I've never really been able to get this to work correctly. Over in tools, you have the general settings, and here is where you will choose what microphone you use. This is the only place that you can choose what microphone you use. And unfortunately, while you're broadcasting, you cannot switch. Which microphone you use. Also, you have different levels for、uh, this. Is your PC audio, so in-game audio, and this is your mic, so you can turn that up and down. So this does work as a broadcast platform. So you can see I have Twitch and a few RTMP servers in my broadcast, but I also have a local recording option. So yes. This can be used as a broadcast program as well as a local recording program, and it goes ahead and outputs at a、uh, .264 encoding, which is pretty nice. That's a little bit about XSplit. So next, if you are like me and you don't like to spend a lot of money, you probably want some sort of open source version of all this software. Well, we're going to get into OBS, the Open Broadcaster software. It is a free alternative to XSplit. So let's check it out in the next video.